Hey, what's up guys, Kevin here. Really nice seeing you again. Today is photography, yes. Um, and yeah, we're still at home. Corona is still going on, so um, hope you're still safe and well. And this trick I'm gonna show you is uh, really nice for, yeah, at home. So we're gonna do clone photography. You can also use this for videography, but yeah, it's kind of the same, but uh, let's do just photography. So uh, you already saw it in the intro, bit of, videography, cloning, it's really nice to do. And why is because you don't need much. I, I mean, you just need your space, a camera and a bit of time. Years ago, I did this trick for myself. I was sitting in a hotel room, had to spend a few hours there. I just thought, well, let's do some cloning while I'm just sitting here. So, and as you can see here, this is the photo, the result. It's really nice to do. So um, let's, let's do it here alive. I mean, I'm sitting here. Um, and there, of course, there are some things you have to keep in mind. Okay, first the basic principles. So you have to shoot with a fixed shot, fixed position. So camera on the tripod is the best solution. Then you have to keep in mind that also the lighting has to be constant. So when you're doing this with daylight and it's sunny with clouds, I wouldn't prefer that um, because in edits you have to do a lot to make it look like it's one image. So the best solution is using artificial lighting in a yeah, controlled environment. So here I got it all dark and with the artificial lighting I know it's always the same. But when you're using like daylight is not a problem but do it on a cloudy day. And then all you need to know is okay how many clones do I need? and uh, what's the location I'm gonna shoot. So for instance, this shot is quite narrow. So when I'm sitting here and I'm looking at, uh, yeah, at, I got a bit of space here and I got a bit of space here. So I can try to like do this live with you guys. Uh, I think it's nice to do it live. So I'm gonna do it live and using, I'm gonna use stills afterwards to make the composition. So here I'm sitting here, I have to stay very still now. So this is really uh, boring, I think, but I think it's nice. So I'm gonna just use some props to make it more interesting. So there we go. Hmm. It's not wireless, but for the shield, okay. Hmm, okay, then I'm gonna So, a bit of nap time, and then on the other side, doing something like... Uh... Okay, so I think, I think we got the shot. Normally you would do this with photography and then with a nicer shot, of course, this is quite narrow, so it's not interesting, but yeah, you know the idea, so here we go. Okay, so I opened up Photoshop with the three uh, stills. As you can see here, the first one, the second one, me sleeping on the couch, and then the third one, me looking at yeah, a lens, random. So these are the stills we're going to use for this clone composition. And what's important is that you know, okay, what will be the foreground and what will be the background. So in this case, it's quite obvious that this still uh, will be the foreground, at least me here in this still will be the foreground. So, uh, and as you can see here, when I'm, lowering the opacity you can see well in this case me sleeping on the couch it's quite clean i mean you got quite a distance between it so this will be a very easy way to reveal this part and the other one is um, yeah not tricky but it's a bit different more difficult because as you can see here i'm standing over here and my shoulder is going over the hand as you can see here now you see and also the shadow here so what we do have to do here is make a, like a nice clean mask uh, that will go over this uh, picture picking up the pen tool and of course you're free to use what tool uh, suits you best um, yeah the pen is quite precise but you can also use like a brush and then work over the areas that you want to reveal or just want to hide uh, whatever so let's start with the top So now we're gonna make the selection. Okay, and there we go. Now make a mask over it, go to mask, and there we go. 
have to invert it. And there I am. So this is really nice. Maybe you noticed it, but there's an error because here's my headphone hanging and I got it on my head. So that's not correct. So what I'm going to do now is like creating a small part of this image to mask out only the headset. Let's see. And again and again making a selection of like this and then like this. There you go. So I can see it's gone really well. Um, it's not really clean, so I have to zoom in a bit and then gonna make it a bit nicer. So there we go, picking the brush tool. There now, zoom out, there you go. So this is looking really well. So this is the hard part, so the, the clean masking yeah, with the pen tool. Uh, that's quite precise because now you can see this part is really nice going over the image. Also the shadow from me uh, in the background is still there, but this goes really nice over it. Well, okay, so uh, the next one is really, uh, really, really easy because this one, like I said before, it's like there's a space between them. So uh, as you can see here, what I can do now, very easy is just picking up the selection tool, do th something like this. And then going to this uh, image, I'm gonna mask that one out. So I'm gonna first put this one back, the opacity like that. And then I'm gonna go into this layer and I'm saying, okay, let's mask that out. So there I am and let the only thing now I have to do is put this layer on top of it. This one on, there you go. So it's already done. So you can see it's really, really easy to do something like this. Uh, and, and this is only working with stills, but if you're working with photography, making really well uh, lit shots, then it's even better and easier to do. So there you go guys, a small trick and a nice trick to use when you're just sitting at one location doing nothing. So there you go. Um, of course, this is used with stills, not proper lighting, etc. Uh, but you get the idea. So um, yeah, challenge yourself, just try something out and uh, yeah, make the best of it because in the end, it's all about the creativity and you're really in yeah, improving your skills with this, you know? Oh, and very important, and when you're doing clone shooting like this, you have to keep in mind that everything has to be in the same position. So the foreground, background, props, etc. Um, so don't go like moving a cup and place it here because maybe in the first shot I had it here was sitting behind it like this and now in it's over here so okay then what if you're you have to edit a lot of stuff to get the right situation here so you don't want to do that so keep in mind leave everything untouched you know just yourself you're only the part that's moving because that will save you a lot of time in uh, in your editing so there you go guys the video for today I hope you like this video this trick um, I think it's nice to do it in this live situation. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And as always guys, I will see you in the next one. Okay, you can uh, put down, put your light back. Okay, you're uh, done? Okay, thanks.